Hi, I'm Gillian T. Oliveres from BSE 2B. I'm going to discuss what is array, step and leap, diagram, and frequency distribution. This array. An array is a data structure that contains a group of elements. Typically, these elements are all of the same data type, such as an integer or string. Arrays are commonly used in computer programs to organize data so that related set of values can be easily sorted up search. Example of array. If you want to store 100 integers, you can create four. The second one is a stem and leaf diagram, also called a stem and leaf flat. It's a diagram that quickly summarizes data while maintaining the individual data points in such a diagram. The stem is a column, column of the unique elements of data after removing the last digit. So how to make a stem and leaflet? Step 1. Determine the smallest and largest number in the data. Step 2. Identify the stem. Step 3. Draw a vertical line and list the stem. Step 4. Fill in the leaves. And the last step 5. Sort the leaf data. The last one is frequency distribution table. A frequency distribution table is a list table gra graph that displays the frequency of various outcomes in a sample. Each entry in the table contains the frequency or count of the occurrences of values within a particular group or interval. There are three types of frequency distribution. First, ungrouping frequency distribution is a row that, the, that has not been placed in any category. Second, group frequency distribution, summarizing or analyzing the data. Relative frequency distribution is the fraction or proportion of times a value occurs. So, how to find the relative frequency di distribution? Divide each frequency by the total number of data points in the sample. Example of constructing frequency distribution. First, divide the result x into intervals and then count the number of results in each interval. Second, Make a table of separate columns for the interval numbers. For example, the number of cars per household. The tallied results and the frequency of results in each interval.